All right, so right now I'm just changing up the lighting see how that works, I don't know. Regardless, um, what I'm going to do right now is a little uh, comparison, or not comparison, but um, uh, product eval. So anyway, this is made by Auto Body Now. It's just a you know your complete bell spring comp compressor kit, and you can see the little picture right there. Of course, it was made in China. So this is what you get. You get some of these little ro adjustable rods here, like that. You'll notice that they have a little divot ball here, right here for per se like a socket, same thing. There's no threads in here, you just click it on and you're good. These come in different sizes to meet your valve size, or yes, your valve size. And this is the one that I used, and this is a number 23. I guess that'd be 23 millimeters, I guess. Anyway, it works fairly well. It's expanded threaded here, threaded here. You screw in both of these. One in here and one in there. I'm not going to have to go through the whole thing. But I guess really what my point being is that this works great. I liked it. It was cheap. 18 bucks. Um, the one thing I didn't like about it is this. There's no little divots on here or little balls to keep it in place. So while I was doing the valves, as you can see when it's sitting in this position, it's fine. But the first couple I did, I had it turned. So I had it turned that way. As you can see, it just fell out. That actually happened to me more than a couple times. But anyway, that was the first thing that I know that I didn't like about it. So just remember to keep it horizontal to the ground, and you should be fine. Um, what I did also like about this, it was 18 bucks. I got it from through Amazon and. Heck, it was here in a day and a half. Now this comes with, you know, up to 30 millimeters. Fits over the valve, you know, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. I don't know, it's self-explanatory, but anyway, that works. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this is because, you know, when I, the first time I took my valves apart, I was using one for an automotive For a car, you know, one of those ones you get from like Sears, for like 35 bucks, anyway, like that. And they got two little prongs at the top, and a, you know, just a rod coming up from the bottom. What the difference was is there's a lot more room to work with <coughs> between the valves, or you know, in your head. I would show you, but mine get, just got painted again. But anyway, it uh, it just made it easier to access. And the problem that I had with the other one. The one for the automotive is that when it when I go to tighten it down, the two prongs up here. First, I had to take the little springy thing out and clamp them together so tight that they would actually fit. And, but even then, they still didn't fit on the intake side because there's three valves right next to each other. But what I noticed is that I mean I had to finagle it several different ways, turn one the head one way, then the other way. But what I did when I tightened it down, I had to put a socket on it to give it the extension I needed to get it to work and plus it left I found four dense hey get out of here I'm working I'm working here um, it put little dings in the valve persistent little bugger uh, anyway in a nutshell I guess what I'm trying to say is that spend the 20 bucks on you know whatever it is one like this or another but the key thing is to make sure you have enough room to maneuver and these work because the car one I had to use you know a, a small file or a sandpaper to get the little dings out of it or the little bents the little bent over sides anyway I just wanted to try that out hey 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 come on cheddar 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 One more time, kitty. Oh, <laughs> I got one other thing I want to show you real quick. That's <laughs> kind of funny. So I was trying to figure out how to uh, plug up all the holes. You know, the bolt holes and where the side covers go. Oh, 
but those are actually freaking Q-tips that I just folded over and stuck in there. Same thing with the bolt holes for the in exhaust. I just stuck it in there and clipped it off so that the threads would be you know, all painted up. This side was easy because it was all flat, but I can see there's one there. I don't know, I just thought I'd throw it in there. Every day is getting closer to being able to rebuild it.